Declare with utmost sincerity. I do not think myself equal to the command I am honored with. Truly, there as is pay, no man better sir, suited to the task. Leave to assure really? The Congress that I can no think of pecuniary several. Consideration could have Charles me Lee. To have accepted this arduous employment. At the do I know you? I would not expect happiness. you to remember. <laughs> I come, Connor. There's someone I want you to meet. I will keep an exact account of my expenses. I'm sorry to pull you away Those, like that, I but doubt not they the will last thing we need is the that two is all of you I desire. coming to blows. Now, Connor, allow me to introduce you to our newly appointed Commander-in-Chief, George Washington. Ah, so you're the one who saved Sam and John at Lexington. It was the Patriots who did that. I merely lent support. As humble as he is brave, we could use more men like you. Putnam's just up ahead. You can't oh, miss him. I don't care much for your excuses, gentlemen. Search and build in on Bunker Hill. Breeze is closer to the city, but it is also closer to their artillery! Our orders came from men so devoid to the city. We are compelled by reason to employ our own fight to make a proper discrimination. More than I can understand even half that nonsense you just uttered. What's not to understand? I'm trying to ensure our victory. What would you know about victory? I killed a sea wolf in her den armed with only a knife. I escaped the Kanawaka Indians who sought to burn me alive. And I was the sole survivor of a shipwreck during the Battle of Havana. So you will excuse me if I choose not to follow your advice. Now I might be forced to get off his arse and come forward. I shall fly the flag to signal my success. And I shall speak fondly of you at your funeral.
lost to the revolution. In their eyes, the assassins are gone and scattered, no longer a threat. But I fear they will soon discover the truth, and me along with it. I must tread carefully. How fares the hunt, Connor? There is progress, but I worry it is not enough. You must strike where you need it most. What if you pursued Charles Lee and your father? What then of Paul Revere and the soldiers at Lexington? Soldiers? There were no soldiers in those towns, only men and women who were forced to defend themselves. Is this not why you fight? To protect your people? Your struggle is the colonist's struggle. In helping one, you help the other. Encouraging words from one who thought mine a fool's errand. <laughs>